Guardian Home Inspection performing sewer line inspection for subject property 14658 Limedale Street, Panorama City, California 91402. Square footage is 1631, built in 1956. Three bedrooms, two bath. I'm in <coughs> A clean out located at the rear. The goal here is to get to the main city sewer connection. Uh, it might be a little difficult because I'm so far back in the back of the property, it doesn't have a clean out in the front. And then this is a two inch line that um, it does not allow me to put a spacer on my camera. So it's going to be traveling on the floor. So I'm going to give it a go, okay? <clears throat> So I do have a hose that I could add water to this if need be uh, because it starts to do that. Um, so I'll, I'll start the water here. All right, that's the water there. So I'll do a little flow here. So visible corrosion or, or buildup, and this is next. This is close to the kitchen sink. I'm gonna see if I can push past it. So a lot of times when you're close to the kitchen sink, you get this little buildup here, uh, and then my camera will push, probably push past that in a second. So I'm going in. It's completely dark now. Let's see if I can fix that here. There's too much water. Let's see. All right, there you go. Yeah, it was just too much water. So I'm gonna go slowly. Um, so I do see that it uh, has a little bit of grimace, um, some you know grease. Uh, so let's let's see if I can push past this. And, I, and I'm gonna get back to a a, a bigger line. So I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing the gunk. So if you see my camera is, is 13, 14, I am traveling. Let me turn on the water again, because this is not going to work here. Let's see here. So I got some grimace on my camera. Let me see if I can shake it off. getting a backup. Uh, so right now I'm getting a backup here filling up with water. So my camera may have pushed all that grimace or the grease and created a, a little backflow. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it back and then try to get pushed past that. Let's see as far as I can go. Sorry, you can't see nothing. I can't see nothing either. Um, it's it's because see I feel that back now. I I, I might have gone through the, the occlusion. Might have broken through. So right there, that's where it stopped. I don't know what's going on there. There you go. Let's see what do I see? So that's the turn. It's all right. It's not looking good here. So it stops there. That's that's where it's backing up right there. There's a little clog. Let me try to get past that. And I get to there. And that's when I have to go down. Alright, there's that. So there could 
be a turn that I'm not able to navigate. So my camera, see, it's uh, sloping down. So it's like I have to There you go. I have to slope down there, and then it might turn again. But I can't. I can't get there. Something just going on. So, you know, I don't want to get my camera stuck. So that's as far as I can go. And it's right underneath the house. One, once I go underneath the house, I could see, I'm going to be able to see what the issue is with this. But there's a lot of grease in here. Um, my cable is full of grease. So what I'll do is uh, pull back. And then once I go underneath the house, I'll be able to uh, gauge this a little bit better. So see my, my camera is full of grease here. So <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna retract my camera here as best as I can. And I'll be right back. Okay, I was not able to, to push that push past that um, it's 22 feet out so it's it looks like it's in, in the underneath the house so once I go in the crawl space I will be able to see what's happening there from the outside maybe the pipe is too small I'm not sure so I'm gonna just backtrack this and you can see all the grimace and the grime and the buildup um, so I think when I pushed my camera through that it might have pushed that grimace or the excess grease and uh, caused my caused a little backflow maybe or it was already there I'm not sure what I did is I took a water hose and I put it inside the, the clean out and I'll do it right now again let me see if I can get a better picture there's a brush of water there's a better picture there uh, so we could back out Yeah, it's just a little excessive grime and grease, you know. Turn on the water again. And like I said, this is this this clean out was next to the uh, main to the kitchen. Uh, so there, there's that clean out. And I tried, but uh, I had an improper curve there, and uh, I couldn't get to the city connection. So I'll note it. I do recommend having this line hydro jetted because um, it did have some some occlusion or some backflow when I put the hose in. Uh, so that's that. I will upload this video to YouTube, and you'll see it. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm at the same property. I am going to go on the roof vent. I'm going to see if this is going to get me to <clears throat> the city connection. I'll give it another try. Because that rear one didn't allow me to get past a certain spot. That's typical. You see roaches in there a lot. So it's cast iron here. I went in through a 3 inch ABS. And then now this is going to be cast iron. So now it starts to turn. And I had the water on at that rear hose. But inside I don't have water. So I'm going to have to probably go inside the house and turn on the water. But it looks okay right now. So this is cast iron. Uh, minimal corrosion. And that's typical. So that's the water I have on from the rear of the property so it's dumping into there that's from the kitchen and that's that turn I couldn't get to so now let me see I could push past that all right so now we're cooking with grease it's looking a little bit better now I'm, I'm flowing um, right now my camera's traveling 
30 feet out. So this is more like probably underneath the house going to the front of the driveway. So the house faces north, so I'm heading north. <clears throat> um, you know, there's typical corrosion, age related. So now I'm getting out to uh, the driveway area. I, I, I appear to be in the driveway area, so I'll just keep going. So now um, it transitions to clay. Uh, clay, there's nothing wrong with clay, you know, clay is a good pipe, lasts for many years. Uh, the only thing with clay, sometimes the joints get damaged, and, uh, it's, and then you, uh, you can see that sometimes joints get damaged, tree, uh, because they're made out of concrete or concrete-based joints. So this is going to be, hopefully I can get past this. I have to put a little skid on my camera to navigate that. That's that little joint, little offset. And I'm gonna get a skid. See if that helps me. Be right back. All right, put my skid on, and let's see if I can get over there. Sometimes that little skid. Uh, Makes it worse. Let's see if this helps me. Um, because uh, there's grimace on the on the floor of the pipe, so it, the skid acts like a, a sled. But sometimes it acts like a it gets me stuck. Like right, right now, I'm getting stuck. So I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there for you. So now it might be a little smoother uh, because it's in the, in the ABS. Now this is the area. There you go. See that skid helped. So I'm getting there. Make it happen. I want to. I want to get to the, the city connection. So far it looks okay. Clay pipe looks okay. So now I'm 53 feet out. Now it's like in the driveway area. Let's see if I can get there. Looking good. A little tree root there, 63 feet out. Looks like in front of the house, uh, mid driveway area. Uh, nothing chemical treatment might take care of that. Minimal tree root. Um, some joints there. Now there's another turn. This is where it starts to get a little dicey because when you start turning, it starts to get difficult. But it's still sliding. Good. Another little tree root there. A little tree root intrusion. Not anything too concerning, but it's there. Come on, keep going. Still looking okay. Oh, I'm getting some water here. I don't know what that is about. So now I'm, I got an occlusion. Something's going on there. See, it's holding water there. So it's way out there, though. It's way out there. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get my camera stuck. I need to push past it. Yeah, so it's, there's an occlusion there because there's tree roots. Get out of it. See that? It's holding water. And then since I have the water on, it's going to do that. It's going to fill up. At least I can push past it without having any issues. Tree root right there. So there's tree roots here. That's as far as I'm gonna go because I don't want to get my camera stuck. But that's the tree root right there. There's an occlusion. See how it's backing up there? Um, so there's no one living at the house, but if you know you flush the toilet multiple times, it's gonna probably back up here. Go to that tree. I'll turn my saw on and I'll locate it. And I can't push anymore. It's, it's blocking me. So that's where the tree root is. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll locate that. Be right back. Okay. Okay. I spotted it. It's 
It's located in the front lawn. It's three and a half feet deep. Three and a half to four and a half feet deep. That's where the occlusion is, or the blockage, the tree roots. So see, it's holding water there. So I pushed into that area and I did see some tree roots. So at this point now, I recommend having a licensed plumber hydrojet the line, see what it looks like. Um, but since you have tree roots, that's indicating that you have a joint that is damaged and tree roots are being uh, uh, allowed to, you know, to co go inside the line. So, at the very least, it's going to be a spot repair. What they do is they could dig up that area and cut the clay pipe, put some ABS and join the ABS to the other clay pipe. So they do an astmosis. It fixed that that line, and uh, that could run you from thirty-five to fifty-five hundred dollars, depending on who you use. Obviously, you know, you could get get away with maybe three thousand. Uh, but the hydrojetting, um, it's up to you if you want to do it or just do the spot repair because the hydrojetting is eight hundred dollars, approximately. And then what they'll do, and then they'll stick the camera in, and they'll they'll follow the line all the way to the city. Um, so it's up to you how you want to proceed. Um, probably just a spot repair, but consult a licensed plumber to see uh, what he thinks and what he should do. Um, so now I'm just backing up. I'm taking out my camera. Um, this is normal wear and tear corrosion from the cast iron. Looks okay. The only issue was with that clay pipe looking in front of the property. Uh, there's no tree in front of the house, but it may have been removed. I'm not sure. Um, but there is visible blockage. Um, that might <clears throat> backflow if you have multiple people using the bathroom at the same time. So right now I'm just backing up. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll set the report send it and then give me a call if you have any questions thanks again I'm on the roof here you go roof camera and me all right all done. Give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks again.